Welcome to Factorio 0 0.15. Right now, um, I have been working really hard for hours and hours trying to get this to properly work. And uh, I figured out the two main things about uh, um, how much power you know you can get from the reactors, from nuclear power. And for one reactor that's 40 megawatts, you know, eight steam turbines in a row and uh, in order to get a late game uh, build going you have to have nine of them and that is 360 megawatts which is a total of 62 turbines now what I've done is I made it so that um, the nuclear reactors are on a separate grid right now that way I can show you when I turn it on that it does go up to almost 360 megawatts of power. It is extremely powerful. I have nine of them, that's 40 megawatts each. And um, you know, if you were to go put one more, like a tenth, um, tenth one down, tenth uh, nuclear reactor down, you know, it would, wouldn't be as efficient, like there would be a loss of efficiency, but this is as close to efficient as you can get you know with just nine now the next order the next magnitude you know is going to be far in the future and they're going to change things between now and then now the way to you know properly do this is for each um, nuclear reactor you need four heat exchangers and those four heat exchangers need all the water to be like run through them and everything now this is not the ideal setup like far from it this is, you know, just basically a homebrew thing that I, that's, the ratios are correct, but the actual building of it is not. Now, whenever you're, you, you want to get nuclear power, you have the nuclear reactor, which needs to have fuel. And once it's done burning the fuel, it will spit out these used up uranium fuel cells, which you can then, you know, use to recycle and, you know, do it, like, make other stuff with, but... Here is the main thing you need to know about it. The Kovarex enrichment process. You need this as soon as possible. The number one thing that you're going to want to do is have the Kovarex enrichment process researched immediately. And even, bef even before that, make sure you have 40 uranium, 235, the glowing uranium in position like you have to have it set aside 40 of them because it takes forever to get 40 if you use those 40 on you know uranium rods it's going to take forever to replenish it enough for you to actually get back up to 40. that right there is very important um like you, uh, you can actually play on your old saves um like down here i have uh, on your old saves, basically this like this minefield here, you know, with the uranium, it just popped up. And uh, whenever you mine, remember you have to have sulfuric acid. So for every ten um, ore that you get, you get um, you you need sulfuric acid. And then um, <coughs> yeah, but yeah, you you do that. You set up a centrif a series of centrifuges and uh, enough of them so that you can you know use up your uranium ore and uh, that's what I've done here I've made sure I way overkilled it as much as possible and uh, all of this you know regular uranium comes out the 238 and then every once in a while some 235 will come out and when that happens you know it's it's like really it's really good because you can actually use the 235 to create um, 10 uranium fuel cells. Now, uh, once you get once once you got all of this, you know, set up, and you have like th this right here is the main engine of my system. I have the Covarex enrichment process to where it eats 40 at a time, and then whenever this the uranium 235 gets to be over um, 50 in this chest, I have it set up so that this will you know take it out once it gets over 50 and then you know I'll have extra uranium 235 and let's go and limit that so I don't get too much 
But yeah, the, the main objective is to get that 235. Once you get enough of that 235, you can make more. Like this, using this Cobra X enrichment process, it's amazingly good. And then on top of that, you know, after your, um, each of your um, uranium fuel cells are used up, let me want to actually build this now. Um, just put it right here. Let's request some used up uranium. And what happens is you set this to recycle it. And when you recycle it, um, where is it? Uh, it's right in the centrifuge for that. Centrifuge is the one that does that. Nuclear fuel re re reprocessing. So basically for every, okay, you need 20 of these to make 10 of those. And whenever you make 10 of those, you make 30 of these. Now, the thing is that every other step, you know, in the, um, in the, in the step that makes the uranium fuel cells, and the step that makes the uranium processing, and even in the uh, Covarex uh, enrichment process, you can use production modules, but you cannot use production modules at this time in the, um, you know, reprocessing of you know nuclear fuel and the reason why is because I think that you know that's not ever going to change it's, it's just going to be a permanent thing but uh yeah for every five actually never mind it's every five that's three so that's actually the um six is how much you get out of 20 so yeah it doesn't completely do it but it does make it towards a little more sustainable but uh, anyway, that, that's the main thing. Like The main thing is get the Covarex enrichment process and then start, you know, enriching. Like, seriously, that is the one thing that makes sure you have plenty of um, uranium-235 so you can have plenty of nuclear reactor fuel.